I'm a wife of a smoke jumper. My husband's gone six months of the year. I see him a couple days at a time throughout the fire season. And it's hard on our marriage, but more than anything, I can thank fire for making me even more brave and even more fearless in how I approach my exploration of the natural world around me. I don't remember specifically changing the way I was living, but I think I maybe started noticing things more. After only two or three years of silversmithing, I had started to become like an overworked piece of metal. I was hardened, I was brittle in some ways, and I had these ugly attributes rising to the surface that honestly I loathed within myself and I wanted, I really wanted to overcome those things. And I felt the very best when I was outside. I started going outside with more intention. I started stepping out the front door every day, sometimes multiple times a day, with the intent of going outside to actually seek that refining heat that could soften me up, make me supple, make me sensitive again, and burn out the ugly attributes that I didn't want, scarring and scabbing the surface. When I'm working with metal, I'm looking to create beautiful objects, but I'm also looking to translate my life experience directly into what it is that I'm creating. I like the pieces of jewelry that I'm making to really be directly connected to and influenced by my daily life, by the animals that I see when I'm outside, by the textures of the natural world that I'm living in, by the emotion that I feel while I'm out on the land, that bigness or the smallness that I feel inside of myself and personal growth, the growth of the world around me and the life and death cycles. I'm looking to translate that all into metal and really reveal in simple ways for people the way that I see the world and the beauty that I'm seeing actually in the natural world. I live in the high desert right now and sometimes it seems like all the light in the world has settled over the canyon. Just a sight for the soul and a sight for the eyes of the soul, really, if you can take all of that in. I feel like I'm gonna burst. I feel filled up. My creative wells feel filled up, but I also feel ready to take on the next day. I don't even need to sleep almost. Like I just, I feel so filled up just by the beauty around me in the natural world that I feel like I could just begin again right then and there.